Okay, so now we've taken a look at the graph of cosecant and secant. Let's do some examples. This is the first one we're going to look at. Find the following in graph 2 secant x over 3. So these things here are the same ones we did before when we did the sine and the cosine graphs. So the same formulas are, are still going to apply here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend that this is actually a cosine graph and I'm going to draw that one with a dotted line. Then, once I'm done with that, I'll go in and actually draw in the, the secant graph with the solid line. So first I want to find my amplitude. My amplitude is going to be the absolute value of 2, uh, which is 2. That 2, just the one right here. So again, I'm pretending that this is a cosine for right now. And I'm going to do that first. Your period is going to be 2 pi divided by the number in front of the x. Now, if I have x over 3, that's the same thing as a 1 third x. So the number in front of the x is really a 1 third. So I'm going to do 2 pi divided by 1 third. And when, when I simplify, I get my period is going to be 6 pi. Phase shift. Phase shift would be the opposite sign of the number after the x. Now in this case, I don't have a number after the x, so because I don't, that means the phase shift is going to be zero in this case. So zero is the phase shift. Zero would be the starting point for my graph. So I'm going to go from zero to six pi. I just have to find out what my key points will be. So again, I know that the graph starts here at zero. And I've got to find four other spots here. And it's going to take me all the way over to six pi. So I have to find out what each of these spaces are going to be. To do that, I need to find my quarter points. So quarter point would be the distance from zero over to here and then from here to here and so forth. You find that, we did this in the previous section, your quarter point, your QP, is equal to your period divided by four. So in this case I have six pi over four and I can redu reduce that to three pi over two. So three pi over two is the, would be the amount that I'm going to add from here to here. So all you do is you just add three halves, add three halves again, add three halves, pi all the way across to get those. So if I add zero plus three halves is three halves pi. If I add another three pi over two to this, I'm going to get six pi over two, which we can reduce, but I'll leave it as six pi over two to make it easier for common denominators. Add another three pi over two, nine pi over two, and add another one, that's going to be 12 pi over two, or again, that's, that can be simplified down to six pi. So here are all my key points. I had a 2 in front, which is my amplitude. So here is 2 and negative 2. I want to begin by drawing the secant graph in a, with a dotted line. So the, uh, uh, the uh, actually cosine I'll start with. So cosine starts at the amplitude. So it's going to start up here. That's going to come down there, come down to here, and then go back up to there. So this would be one cycle for your cosine graph. So cosine we're doing first because again we know that secant is the same thing as one of our cosines. So we have that one uh, we'll do. And again if you want to add one more over, one more key point here and add another 3 pi over 2 we can. We get 15 pi over 2. We can definitely do that and we can bring this back down to here. That way we have a complete upside down curve and a curve opening up like that. Every place where it crosses the x-axis we're going to draw in these dotted lines. So this whole graph is now set up. Your actual graph is going to be here. It'll come up and it'll touch this at negative 2. And then the other one, we have a, a vertical here. It's going to be in between. It's going to look something like this. And then this one, of course, if you wanted to just end it there, you can. Or if you wanted to complete another curve down here and have it be uh, the, full, the full curve opening up, you can do that as well. So, but this right here, this section will be considered one period, and usually they'll indicate if they want you to do one or two periods. So usually, uh, my class, I'll usually just have you draw one period for it, and that would be this right here. 